for coming to Adapt and Coach, and thank you for deciding to sh watch this video. End of life care, fundamental of nursing. Let's get to it. So, end of life care, straightforward, right? First thing, think about the cardiovascular system. Your heart rate is going to slow down. It's going to fluctuate, right? It would fluctuate from um, one place to another. It will be irregular, back and forth. That's all normal. These are things you will see in these patients, right? The heart rate is going to slow down. What is going to be pulmonary system? Think about it. This patient is dying. They will have something like what we call shallow, irregular. This is same as change talk, right? Um, breathing, the same thing, right? This is what is going on. And they will have apnea um, that is alternating with the deep breathing. This is all normal. Right, they start to have chest pain. And the worst part, portion of it is what we call death rattle. This is what you can hear, the noisy breathing, they swallowing their secretion. This is uh, what you see all the time. They can also have cough. What is the next function is to prevent this, to help them. What are the intervention nurses can do is keep them in a semi parallel position, right? for comfort, right, as much as possible. Or you can put them on your la lateral side so that they don't aspirate. You can teach them to do purse lip. Okay, this will help. And then um, anticholinergic is very good. That would decrease the, the rattle sound that you hear. Or sometimes antitussive. Oh, yeah. Antitussive will be very good for them too for the secretion, and this is very, very good um, for the condition that they're undergoing, right? anti I can change it anyway, right? But those are the things you have to pay attention to in terms of endocare, care, life care. GI, they will have constipation or diarrhea. So they will need like bar regimen to help with the condition, right? You need some stool softener. And then the perineum, the muscles get the really weak. So you got to like have some pads there, something to uh, soak all the stool that will leak and then, then physically clean them as much as possible to prevent any irritation. They may have dysphagia. They don't want to eat. It's okay. Don't force feed them as much as possible. You can make sure you do oral care. Probably that's why they don't want to eat. Uh, you can give them some stimulant, but let them eat at their own um, way if they want to, as much as possible. Um, make sure they can bring my, uh, food from home, from the family, if they want to eat it. Their bladder is a big problem. They will have incontinence, okay? So this is why you have to give them diaper brief and, and make sure you have an absorber um, that can prevent them from or skin barrier and prevent skin breakdown. Okay, so that's what you do for that condition. Um, dehydration is common. They don't, it's not like they're starving themselves. They don't want to feed a dying body. So they, were, they have decreased taste. They don't want to drink anything. Um, what you can do is moisturizer, right? You can use moisturizer on your mouth uh, just lotion uh, to keep your skin, and then, and then, then you can just um, provide some oral care also, or sugar-free gum, and to help with that condition. Okay, it's very very important. So your skin is the most frequent things that we see. It's going to be cold, like it's going to be muddled, right? It's going to look blue, cyanotic. Okay all these things and you feel like wax like what do you want to do lotion as much as want and some warm blanket to cool them and then they reposition them so that there's no injury if you have a good mattress get them a better mattress right this is what affects a lot of people delirium and hallucination this is normal as they get to the time they're about to die they're afraid of it um, they may need some small benzos to calm them down, but most of the time, reorientation 
Um, and they will be telling you things they seen. It's okay. Pain is a biggie, right? Most of the time, they may need pharmacological management of pain, okay? But the key is non-pharmacological, non-pharm, to help with the pain management as much as possible. And don't forget the spiritual um, aspect of it, how uh, this can play a role in the management. And of care, it's very important. It's a priority. We need to know how to take care of these patients Eminent death, you should be, if you get, they give you a question about eminent death, just know that all the things I've said, they are going to weigh down. At rate, blood pressure, everything goes way, way down. And the individual will tell you what they're seeing when you're about to die. Fundamentals, take care of yourself. Adapt and class. Bye.